So here we have uh, some potassium hydroxide. This is uh, used for people that make soap. And um, you can see on the label there it says hazardous. And this is 500 grams. Um, so the ideal mix uh, is about 28%. So what I have here um, is enough water. I measured off uh, about, uh, you can use distilled water or if you can collect rainwater from a clean uh, roof, then we, we just mix the potassium hydroxide into the water. Never, ever put water to the potassium hydroxide. You always put the, the chemical, the potassium hydroxide, into the water. When working with this, uh, just for safety, um, wear eye protection and also wear gloves. So I've, um, I've cut off a piece of uh, this bottle so that I have the funnel like that. Now, in the description, um, I'll give you the formula. If you click on in the link of the description of this video, you'll get the exact formula how to how much to mix into this. So just to make sure, I'm gonna measure it again. Yeah. It's actually 475 grams. Um, I think what they did here, they probably measured the whole thing. Well, we can work on 476 grams, and I've, I've got 1.3 uh, liters of water here. That should give me more or less a ratio between 25 and 28 percent. So when we add this to the to the water, we we do it slowly, little by little. And you'll notice that uh, when it starts diluting in the water, it it will the water actually becomes hot. I'm, I'm stirring it every now and again. Adding a little bit. Stirring it. Don't throw everything at once. Uh, because it, it will start to boil. I can already feel it is quite warm. Now it's uh, very hot. It's um, too hot for me to hold. So I'm going to let this cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to add the last bit after it's cooled down. Now it's a little bit cooler now. And just add the, little, the last bit. Something that I should mention now um, is that uh, 
This machine takes a little bit more. Um, so I've saved the old electrolyte. I, I just uh, poured it through a, a, a filter to get all the, the gunk out. Um, there's no use in throwing it away. There's nothing wrong with it. I just wanted uh, some fresh uh, potassium hydroxide with the, with the batch. So um, I'm going to fill it up with the fresh uh, solution and then just top it up with, with my old um, potassium hydroxide. You should always keep the chemical unless it's very uh, dirty and then there's something wrong. If you follow the instructions in my plans, it shows you how to clean the machine with the, the process to get rid of all the, the, the bad stuff. And also your water must be distilled or rainwater, clean water, no chlorine or any other uh, bad chemicals in it because it will make the water to go brown. So uh, this water, um, this mixture is going to uh, not, it won't fill the machine uh, to, the, to the level I want it about halfway into the primary bubbler so uh, I think um, let's start pouring it in um, from this funnel it, it goes in from the bottom of the machine and it fills it up from the bottom so there's no air that gets trapped As you can see, um, the water level in the machine is there. I can see this is going to be my water level gauge. And it's almost, almost halfway. Just going to add a little bit more. Thank you for watching and uh, now you know exactly how to mix your potassium hydroxide mixture safely and I hope you have a great week and please remember to subscribe and hit that like button. Cheers, we'll see you next time.